Let's say you get a bit sick. Hmm, nothing specific. Not anything timely. Let's just say you have a fever, a dry cough, and have to stay quarantined for 14-ish days. Do you know how much your bills would be going through such an experience? Well, the answer varies widely from country to country, and some places have healthcare and medical bills that are much, much more expensive than others. Today, we're going to take a deep look at which countries pay the most in medical bills, and why exactly that is. Number 5. Germany Can you smell the rolling green meadows, bratwurst and beer? Well, that's Germany coming in hot at number 5 on my list. Germany is one of the 18 countries in the world with universal health care. Citizens and lawful residents pay 14.6% of their gross wages to fund that universal health care, which provides health care for all residents regardless of income. Individuals who earn more than $71,564 per year can opt to purchase private coverage. However, 75% of people choose to continue using the public health care instead. So, how much does all this cost them? Well, on average, $4,869 per capita. About 9.6% of the GDP is spent on public health. Number 4. Switzerland Switzerland is a country that is known for its high cost of living, so it comes as almost no surprise that they would be paying a pretty hefty amount of medical fees per year. Much like Germany, Switzerland has universal health care. Citizens are required to purchase basic health care insurance, which is regulated across the board and covers 90% of treatment costs. Healthcare insurance providers aren't allowed to profit off of their usual healthcare coverage package, but they are allowed to offer additional packages. About $5,030 per capita go towards public health, and 7.7% of the GDP is spent on public health. In Switzerland, an MRI will cost approximately $503, compared to $1,300 in the United States. Number 3. Norway Ah, Norway. I've taken many visits to this wonderful country to enjoy their beautiful fjords and glaciers. Fortunately for me, I never had to take a trip to the hospital there. Once more, we have a country with universal health care. Through taxes, Norway funds their health care. However, residents must meet a deductible of $245 before they receive an exemption card, entitling them to free health services for the remainder of the year. There are certain procedures that cost an extra fee for Norwegians, but all emergency care and child-related care comes with no additional cost. The costs of public health is about $5,300 $99 per capita. Additionally, Norway has one of the highest rates of doctors in the world, with 4.7 specialists for every 1,000 people. Number 2. Luxembourg On any most expensive list, it only seems fitting to have the world's second richest country, Luxembourg. Luxembourg has a healthcare system that is funded primarily by the income taxes of its citizens. These cover treatments from specialists, hospitalizations, and medications. Citizens may pay part of their cost up front, but they are later reimbursed for the cost of any procedures. On average, public health in Luxembourg costs $5,506 per capita. Number 1. The United States if you've ever stepped foot in a doctor's office or a hospital in the United States of America, you may have seen this coming. The U.S. is known for having the highest cost of medication and medical care in the world at a staggering $9,430 per capita. If you're unaware, the U.S. is the only country on this list without universal health care. And there are a few different layers to the health care system in the United States. There is employee-provided insurance, which goes through a private insurance company, individual health insurance, which does the same, and public health insurance called Medicare and Medicaid, which is available to the elderly and low-income individuals. People are required to pay for private health insurance or they will be feed. In California, for example, the fee for 2020 is around $695 per individual. Compared to the other countries on this list, everything costs more in the United States, and doctors are paid much more. 
In 2016, general physicians were paid about $218,173 on average in the United States, compared to $86,607 in Sweden and $154,126 in Germany. The cost of procedures is also much higher than other countries. A coronary artery bypass, otherwise known as really expensive heart surgery, costs about $75,345 in the United States. That same surgery, with the same equipment and same qualified doctors, costs about $15,742 in the Netherlands and $36,509 in Switzerland. In other words, you could get the surgery in Switzerland, buy a ticket to fly to the Netherlands, get the same surgery there, and recover in a fancy hotel, and it still wouldn't cost three-fourths the amount of that surgery in the United States. So, why is that, exactly? Well, there isn't just one reason. The complex nature of the American healthcare system requires much more administrative work than most other countries, which in part raises costs. 8% of the national healthcare costs in the United States go to administrative tasks, compared to a low 1-3% to in the majority of similar countries. The other big reason is tied to pharmaceuticals. Most countries have a system and limits in place for how much medication can cost. Pharmaceutical companies aren't allowed to drastically increase their price once they are on the market. The government in most countries negotiates with drug companies, ensuring that price gouging cannot take place on vital medications. In the United States, however, no system or negotiations are in place, which is why the average medication cost per person is about $1,443 per year, compared to $749 per person, which is the world's average. Humira is an injectable drug used to treat conditions like arthritis and costs about $2,700 in the United States. That same exact medication in Switzerland will cost you around $822. The United States is one of the few countries that allows for drug companies to set their own prices, which has led to quite a bit of drama in the past, specifically with a drug called Daraprim. Daraprim has been around for six decades, but it was acquired in the mid-2000s by Turing Pharmaceuticals a company owned by a man named Martin Shkreli. Upon acquiring the medication, Shkreli rose the cost of a single pill from $13.50 to $750 per pill. And although it was sleazy, it was perfectly legal to do. That all being said, the United States has the highest medical bills of any country by far. What do you think of these comparisons? What do you think of the costs of pharmaceuticals or big pharma, as the kids say? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip to doodly-doo.